Speaking of people that I've interviewed, as you know, well, I've interviewed Dr. Jill Stein a number of times on this show. I supported her in the 2016 elections after Bernie Sanders was robbed during the primaries. Dr. Jill Stein, I believe in her campaign. I believed in her message. I also believed in her running mate, Ajamu Baraka, who I find to be very impressive. In fact, Ajamu Baraka is much underrated. I think he deserves to be up there in the list of philosophers and humanitarians that are on the vanguard in the conversation, the political conversation, not only in America, but internationally. That's how high esteem I hold Ajamu Baraka. There were some comments made about Jill Stein. Let me, let me give you a little context to this so you understand why I'm even bringing up Jill Stein in, in my appreciation for the third party, the Green Party, that she ran in the race that she ran. Recently, the Senate Intelligence Committee has decided that Dr. Jill Stein may be a Russian colluder. They have requested to look at documentation from Jill Stein, emails or what have you, conversations, text messages um, from her and some of her campaign staff in order to determine if Jill Stein colluded with Russia during the 2016 elections. That's why this was brought up. Now, so, so first of all, I think that's ludicrous, but I, I mean, I don't know Dr. Jill Stein to that extent to know every conversation she's ever had. I don't believe that she was a sham uh, campaign. I don't believe Ajamu Baraka would join a sham campaign. I think Ajamu Baraka had to be talked into being a VP running mate. Uh, I, I, I don't see these people, as particularly Ajamu, um, as being someone who wants the limelight in the political arena, if not for only to put his grievances on the table about how America operates in neoliberalism and neo, neo-fascist uh, tactics and colonialism and imperialism around the, fuck, around the globe. <laughs> so that's what I believe. Now, so, so I, you know, I'm looking at this conversation. I'm looking at the articles. I covered it earlier about the Senate Intelligence Committee, who I feel are grasping at straws with the entire Russia thing. I believe they're going to find at the end of the day, maybe Trump took some money. Maybe Trump invested with some shady people, just like a lot of uh, multi-corporations, like a lot of millionaire, multi-millionaire billionaires do. I don't think they're going to find much more than that, but we'll see what happens after millions and millions and millions of dollars are spent during this investigation. Here's the thing, guys. Josh Fox, he's an indie filmmaker, okay? You guys know Josh Fox? I know Josh Fox because I interviewed him too. Um, he, I just want to make sure that people understand the depth of his, of his resume, okay? He's an Oscar-nominated 2010 documentary he did called Gasland. He followed it up with an HBO production called Gasland Part 2. Um, he was awarded the third Environmental Media Association Award. For How to let go of the world and love all the things climate can't change. I respect the hell out of Josh Fox. But Josh Fox has recently said some things on Twitter that I find disconcerting, man. And I'm just... Josh Fox... And, and for me, to, I, I don't want to call, I don't want to get any of this wrong, right? So he's got this tweet, and I'm just going to read from the tweet. He says, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to say I told you so. Volume 2322.25, Dr. Jill Stein is a fraud. Senate Intel head admits committee is looking into collusion between Jill Stein campaign and Russians. Okay, so that was his tweet. He sent this tweet about 18 hours ago. Just because somebody's looking into your background or looking into you. Look, from, from all I know, one of the reasons why they're looking at Jill Stein is that she went on RT, Russia TV. It's also a platform many others have went on, such as Ed Schultz. It's also a platform that my friend Lee Camp is on. And the reason why people like Jill Stein, people like Ed Schultz, um, so many others, again, I'm, some of the names are kind of escaping me. There's so many people. Uh, uh, Larry King, you know, oh, Larry King, the, the dangerous Russian. Uh, 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 Jesse Ventura, f- former, uh, sen- uh, former governor. Oh, God, oh, these are all Russian. No, they go on RT because they're able to say whatever they want to say. They don't have the same censorship they have in the United States. That's why people go on RT. Based on, based on what I've seen, that's the only thing. That's the only reason why Joyce Jill Stein is even 
being brought up. But let's continue with what, jo what Josh Fox says. He says, ever since I was a metalhead back in the 80s and hated Bon Jovi and any fucking false metal, I have hated posers more than anything. Dr. Jill Stein is a poser and a fraud and quite possibly a traitor. Now, these are very serious allegations to make about anyone, particularly if you don't have any evidence. Just because the Intelligence Committee wants to look at emails doesn't mean that, uh, that she did anything, Josh. So we're just going to keep going. He, he, keeps, he keeps retweeting. He retweets others who make comments. I interviewed Dr. Jill Stein, campaign manager, last year. I offered to help build the Green Party coast-to-coast -coast for four years if they dropped out in swing states. They never answered. They were not a serious campaign. It was a sham, and it was incredibly destructive. And now, see, now we're getting to the point of my reason for really pushing back on Josh. Okay, because I jumped in here in the Twitter thread, but it's not because of the earlier comments. It's because of the ones that are coming. Dear Green Party U.S., organize locally, and you have my support. But running an egomaniac millionaire presidential spoiler candidate is bad strategy and will get you nowhere, my friends. The fact that so many people are mad at me for saying this show, this shows that there was a real migration from Bernie to Jill in the last election. That was a factor. You guys helped Trump get elected, and that is bad strategy for the planet. All right. I will say this. Before I say it, I want to preface it with Josh Fox today was in Washington, D.C., voluntarily being arrested as he protested, as he protested the tax, the GOP tax scam. Josh Fox has been fighting for environmental issues for almost 20 years. Josh Fox is a good guy. He's a good person. He is a humanitarian. He's an environmentalist to the highest order. He's serious. He's committed to what he's doing. And I believe that about Josh. And once again, I respect the hell out of the guy. Okay? But he's dead wrong with this. Oh, God, dead, dead wrong. All right? Now, I don't know what Jill Stein's motivations are, have always been. I don't know. But she has every right to run for president as anybody else. Instead of blaming Jill Stein like so many others for Hillary Clinton's loss, which is what it sounds like Josh is doing, why isn't Josh calling out Hillary Clinton for cheating Bernie Sanders? If Hillary Clinton wouldn't have cheated Bernie Sanders, if the DNC hadn't been rigged against Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders would have beat Donald Trump. I believe that a thousand percent. And I know Josh believes it a thousand percent. And if Jill would have ran even though Bernie was in the race, well, Jill wouldn't have even got a half of a percentage point of voters because, well, Bernie's actually on the left and Hillary was on the right. That's the only reason why Jill got any votes from Hillary. See, they, there are votes that she shouldn't have got because Hillary Clinton should have been more to the left. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? Instead of calling out Hillary Clinton and the DNC and Team Hillary and the people in Brooklyn that ran her campaign... Do Josh Fox wants to focus on Jill Stein, and I don't understand it. Josh Fox, I know you're a man of honor. I know you have ethics. Is it possible you don't want to piss off the Democratic Party? Is, or I hope that's not the case, because I know that you were out in the campaign trails supporting Bernie Sanders. So that can't be the case. So I don't understand why you have so much fire for Jill Stein. Why not blame the party that gave you Trump, which is the Democratic Party, who didn't see fit to see it important enough to campaign in in Wisconsin. How about that? <laughs> or didn't put enough, enough work or attention into Michigan. How about that? <laughs> or how about a campaign that didn't have a strong enough message to get people to come from out of their homes and go to the damn polls? <laughs> what about all those people? Why is you focus on the people that showed up and what they chose? What about the other 49% forty nine percent or 51% of Americans who didn't vote because they weren't inspired to vote by who? By Hillary Clinton or by Donald Trump. 
That's where all the low-hanging fruit is. But instead of focusing on those people, you focus on the people that did vote who exercised their rights to choose the candidate they preferred to choose. Josh Fox, man, you my guy. But this right here is a horrible argument. A horrible argument. Sounds like piling on. And whatever issues you have with Dr. Jill Stein, because she didn't get back to you. <laughs> Dude, I know. I Look, 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 man. Maybe I need to develop an ego like the size of you. Goodness gracious, like you are. Oh, so you're going to do what she couldn't do. With a party. One guy is going to make up for that. The national stage is important, Josh. We need more parties, not less parties. And you shouldn't tell anyone, don't run for president because, well, we got such a weak-ass candidate, you might hurt him. That, that means you, that candidate shouldn't be there. And, Josh, you know I'm right. You know this is the truth. You, you stood behind Bernie. You were saying this. I know you were saying this as you toured the country with Susan Sarandon and Dr. Cornel West. So, anyway, that's all I got to say about this. I, do, we'll see what they turn up on Jill Stein, all right? It's in my, I, look, look. To me, it's totally, it's crazy. It's crazy talk. Hillary Clinton had billions of dollars. She had billion dollars, multiple, multiple millions of dollars worth of coverage. Jill Stein had two hundred thousand dollars, a box of trading, trading cards, a pack of bubble gum, a bus transfer, and you blame her for Hillary losing? Come on, man, if you beat a guy with no arms in a boxing match, or if you lose to a guy with no arms in a boxing match, look, you get what I'm saying. I mean, come on. Jill Stein has no arms. Hillary Clinton has the reach, the weight, the height advantage. <laughs> and she's got a couple of the judges sitting on the bench that owe her money. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> 